Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making this beautiful dress step by step tutorial. Remember to watch the video so that you don't miss anything at the puff sleeve and I'm going to show you how to stitch it around the armhole. Please support us by subscribing, thumbs up on our video, comment down below if you have any question. Follow us on all social media platform at Hello Angel Doll Design. Those who are celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas to you all. Those who are not celebrating, happy, happy holiday to you all. And let's jump right to the tutorial. First thing that you have to do, you are going to cut out your fabric. I have cut out my fabric. So I'm using this fabric, it's a transparent fabric, but I'm going to line in the fabric. And for the back, the back is a V neckline. And this dress will have a sleeve. So I have also shown how to make a basic sleeve and I've also shown how to make pop sleeve. So this is my lining. For the front, I cut two pieces. And for the back, you are going to be cutting four pieces. And I've also cut out my skirt. So the way I also cut out my skirt, I cut two pieces of my skirt because the skirt, we are going to be attaching a tool at the skirt. So this is my first skirt right here. I cut one on four that is the front i cut two pieces for the back and this is the second skirt so this will be the may lining so if you are cutting your skirt let's say for example the length is 45 centimeters if you are cutting your second skirt make sure that your second skirt is shorter so the way i do it if this is 45 centimeter the second skirt i will minus five centimeter out of the second skirt because the second skirt is going to be hidden it's not going to be more visible when we are stitching the skirt so that is how i cut out my skirt and this is my tool fabric i have cut out some part of my tool fabric so this is the length that i have here and i've not cut out this other one because i want to show you guys how to cut out your two fabric so for my two fabric i measure 11 yard not 11 meters i measure 11 yard so when i measure 11 yard i put them together and i cut it into two so that is how first what i did i cut this part out so i have not cut this part out and you can see that I place a pin right here so that the tool fabric is arranged properly. So what I'm going to do, I will place my pattern paper. So this is my skirt pattern paper. This side of the tooth is on four wide. This side, some part are on four and some part has raw edges. So what I'm going to do, I will place my pattern paper like this. And I'm going to remove this pin and use it to pin it all together. I have pinned my pattern paper on the tool fabric. So what I'm going to do, I am going to add about 2.5 centimeter or one inch because I want it to be a little bit longer. So I will pick my measuring tape like this and I'm going to add one inch or 2.5 centimeter is right here. I will measure it all the way down. Once I am done with that, I will take my ruler, connect the mark together. I have connected the mark together. I will take my scissors and I will cut it out. You can see that I place a pin right here on this other lower part of the tool fabric because I don't want it to get messy. So go ahead and cut yours out. I have cut out my tool fabric, both the bottom of the two. This is how it is. Let's put the dress together. First thing that you have to do, this is my May fabric. This is my lining and this is the front of my lining. This is the front of my May fabric. I'll put them together like this. I'll go ahead and pin it all around. And I will also take the back. I will repeat the same process. This is the back. This is the front of the back. I'll put it together like this. I will pin it all 
around i have pinning all around this is how it is i will take it to my sewing machine i will stitch it all around and i will take the back pieces i will repeat the same thing i will stitch it all around once i am done stitching i will put the both shoulders sink together like this and i will stitch the shoulder same width one centimeter seam allowance and i will take the lining this is the front of my lining put the both shoulders seam together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other i am going to stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric use the same seam allowance to stitch the shoulder seam once i am done with that i will take the sleeve i am going to hem the sleeve i will go ahead and hem the sleeve all around and i will repeat the same process with the second sleeve i will go ahead and hem the sleeve all around I have stitched my top together this is how it is both the shoulder seam this is how it look and i've also did the same thing with my lining this is how it is i take it to my ironing board i press the seam apart and i have also hemmed my sleeve around this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to place our top dress on top of each other this is my lining this is my main fabric when you're putting them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other what we are going to do we are going to stitch around the neckline you take it to your sewing machine you stitch it all around before you start stitching make sure to measure your zipper seam allowance inside my zipper seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter so i will start stitching from here and i will end on the other side once i am done stitching i will take my scissor snip around the neckline push the seam towards the lining and on the stitch the neck line once i am done with that i will take it to my ironing board and give it a good press the next thing that you have to do you take your sleeve so this is my sleeve what i'm going to do i will take my measurement and place it where i have already hemmed from the hemline i'll measure inside three centimeter so i will just go ahead and measure it around three centimeter once i am done with that i will take my ruler connect the mark together i have connected the mark together this is how it is i know most of you can see because i'm using a white chalk i hope you can see that so this is my mark three centimeter the length of my elastic is 22 centimeter before you cut your elastic make sure to take your child upper arm circumference the measurement that you get that is the measurement that you are going to put on your sleeve so i will place my elastic like this from the side seam and i will pin it together and i will pull my elastic and i will come down to the end right here and i will pin that together so what i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine when i'm stitching i'm going to stretch the elastic so this is how it will look once you have done stitching you go ahead and stitch it down and you also repeat the same process with the second sleeve measure inside three centimeter place your elastic and stitch it all together I have stitched the neckline of my top dress and I understitch the lining. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put the both sides seam of the top dress together. This is the back and this is the front. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other, main fabric facing each other. You put the side seam together, you stitch it with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. You come down to this other side you repeat the same process stitch the side seam with your seam allowance and for the lining both lining facing each other front fabric facing each other you stitch the side seam with your seam allowance and then you come down to this other side i will do the same thing put the both sides seam together and stitch it with my one centimeter seam allowance 
once I am done with that, I will take my skirt. Remember, we have two pieces of lining. This is the size seam of my skirt. I will stitch the size seam with one centimeter seam allowance. And then I will come down to this other side. I will repeat the same process. Stitch the size seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Make sure that the second line you are also going to repeat the same process. Put both sides seam together and stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance. And I've also stitched my sleeve and I just put the both sides seam together. I stitch it together and I stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my sleeve. And I also repeat the same process with the second sleeve. Put the both sides seam together and stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my sleeve. Once you have done with that, remember to stitch a gather stitch thread on your tool fabric i have stitched the both sides seam of my top dress and i picked the lining and the male fabric i just stitch around the armhole to secure that properly and you can see that i have pinned my sleeve one of the sleeve on the armhole of my top dress what you are going to do you turn your top dress like this you pick your sleeve so this is the side seam of my sleeve and this is the side seam of my top dress i will put it inside before you put it inside make sure you turn your sleeve inside out this is the front of my sleeve i will put it inside the armhole and put the both side seam together and secure that with a pin and what I'm going to do, this is the sleeve head. When you are making your sleeve, make sure that you notch the sleeve head. This is the sleeve head and the shoulder seam. Put them together, make sure that they are matched and secure that with a pin. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you are going to pin your sleeve. Before you start pinning your sleeve around the armhole or gather your sleeve around the armhole, the easiest way is for you to take a measurement. From the shoulder seam, measure that eight centimeter. From this other side, measure that eight centimeter. So what you are going to do, you take your marker, you mark that. So that is where you are going to gather your sleeve or that is where your gather is going to end. So all you have to do, you're going to pin where the eight centimeter end and then you come down to this other side, you pin where the eight centimeter end and the rest of the sleeve, that is where you are going to gather. So go ahead and pin that together and gather your sleeve. I have gathered my sleeve and I'll pin it together. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. And you will repeat the same process with the second sleeve. Stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. You go ahead and stitch it all around. Once you have done that, you take your tool fabric. I have gathered my tool fabric. I gathered two pieces right here. So I just put them together and pin it all around. What you are going to do is to stitch the both tool fabric together. Take it to your sewing machine. Just give it a top stitch all around so that you secure the both tool fabric together the next thing that we have to do you take one of your lining this is the shorter of my lining from the waistline i measure that eight centimeter so this is my eight centimeter is right here and i've also pleated my tool fabric if you don't know how to pleat out your tool fabric i will upload a video that video will show you more details about how to pleat your tool fabric and if you don't have enough tool fabric maybe you don't have the color of the tool fabric you don't have enough what you are going to do to be able to get the more pleat that you want that video will show you more details i will upload the video the moment i also upload this tutorial so what you are going to do once you measure down that eight centimeter before you start stitching your two fabric on your lining from the side seam you measure inside five centimeter because you don't want to place your two fabric to this end because we are going to stitch a zipper at the center back 
so this is my five centimeter is right here this is the raw edges of my tool fabric i am going to fold it inside because this raw edges is sharp i don't want it to be getting on the way so i will fold it inside and then i will place it with the, the eight centimeter and what i'm going to do i am going to stitch it all around the skirt you just go ahead and start stitching it all around the skirt and when you get to the other side make sure that you also measured inside five centimeter when you get to the other end of your skirt so this is the other end of my skirt i measured down five centimeter this is where my tool fabric is going to end I have stitched my sleeve around the armhole this is how it is right now and i take it to my overlock i overlock the row edges and i've also stitched my tool on the lining this is how it look once you have done that so this is how the front of the lining will look the next thing that we have to do we are going to put the boat lining together this is my main lining so what i'm going to do i am going to put the both side seam facing each other so this is the front of my lining this is the back of my lining the back will be facing each other i'll just put the both sides seam and i will secure that with a pin come down to the other side and i will do the same thing put the both sides seam together and secure that with a pin and for the center back i will just go ahead and put them together all the way to the center back once you have put them together the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch a gather stitch tray all around the skirt make sure that both skirts are together you go ahead and stitch a gather stitch tray all around once you have done that i will show you how to pin it on your skirt and we can gather it together the next thing that we have to do we are going to pin our tool fabric on our top dress so what you are going to do you pick your top dress put them together like this take your pin make sure you place it at the mid part of your waistline of your top dress so and you repeat the same thing with your tool fabric once you have done that put them together and secure them with a pin once you have done that then you take your this will be the center back pinning together come down to this other side center back pinning together once you have done it like that all you have to do you are going to pin your tool fabric on your waistline of the top dress once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch I have stitched my two skirt around the waistline of my top dress this is how it look once you have done that and i take it to my overlocker i overlock all the raw edges the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our lining on the lining side so what you're going to do i will just turn my dress like this and this is my lining so when you are stitching your lining this is where we attach the tool fabric this this side we did not attach anything it is only this side we attach the tool fabric so you are going to make sure that may fabric facing each other you are going to put the bone side seam of your lining skirt put them together and secure that with a pin and then you come down to this other side you repeat the same thing side seam of your skirt side seam of your may lining put them together and secure that with a pin so what we are going to do we are going to be putting the center back together you pin that in place all you have to do you are going to gather your lining on your lining top dress so i will just first use mine this is how i usually gather my skirt so i will pick this other side and i will start pulling 
and I will go ahead and gather it all around once I am done with that I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it with 0.5 inch or 1.3 centimeter I have stitched my lining all around this is how it look once you have done that and I overlock all the raw edges if you don't have overlocker you can always use zigzag to overlock the raw edges the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch invisible zipper at the center back it doesn't matter the zipper that you have go ahead and pin your zipper all around once you have done pinning take it to your sewing machine stitch it all around and then use your lining to cover the raw edges of your zipper I have stitched my invisible zipper at the center back this is a uh, look and i have also used my lining to cover the raw edges of the zipper this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we have to finish closing the center back your made two fabric put them together and stitch it all the way down your lining put them together and stitch it all the way down once you have done that use the opportunity to hem your lining i have already started hemming my line i just want to finish the center back before i will finish hemming my line once you have done that your dress is finally ready i will show you the final look of my dress making once i am done stitching the center back of this dress this is the final look of my dress it's a beautiful dress to make step-by-step -step tutorial this dress is for four to five years old child and have a wonderful wonderful day bye